Hey, I'm Stuart with Trev Dealey Motorcycles and today we're introducing the all new 2024 Street Glides and Road Glides from Harley Davidson. What we've done in the 2024 model year is we've eliminated the standard models, we've eliminated the ST models and the special. So what we have now is we've got the Road Glide and we've got the Street Glide. We've got a black trim option. The Street Glide here is in our black trim. Our Road Glide over here does have the uh, chrome trim option. So we've completely redesigned the bodywork on the Street Glide. All the front fairings being reshaped. It's vented. It allows, it eliminates the vortex effect to the air spilling behind. We've also gone with a short fender on it. It really trims down and lightens up the look of the motorcycle. Um, reshaped the fuel tank. It's using a thinner gauge metal now, which has taken some weight out of it. Also on the triple trees, we've gone to aluminum, which has also reduced the weight of the motorcycle. The saddlebags have been reshaped. The side covers have been reshaped. We've got a new seat on these bikes. It's actually quite a bit more comfortable than the uh, 23 and earlier bikes. So Harley-Davidson uses the Brembo brakes on all our motorcycles. Some of our uh, soft tails are running Nissan, but our uh, Nissan. Our uh, touring bikes are running Brembos. They're a four-pot caliper. Uh, dual calipers up front, they are linked and what they mean by linked brakes is when you do put your front brake on it puts about roughly 10% on the rear when you put your front brake, your rear brake on it'll put some uh, braking forces on the front only when you're at gyroscopic steering so if you're above 30 kilometers an hour the, motor the brakes are linked on this motorcycle when you're below 30 kilometers an hour, they're not. So if you are lock to lock in a parking lot, it won't put your front brake on. The jewel of the motor is that 117 Milwaukee 8. Uh, it's a four valve head. It's joined up by a six speed gearbox. The final drive is belt. And what's really cool is the new infotainment center on this motorcycle. We've gone away from the analog gauges. Everything's digital on here now. Uh, the fuel cap's been redesigned. It's, uh, it's a more modern looking fuel cap. Let's turn this thing on. So everything's at your fingertips. We can go down into the display here. We can uh, change the layout. We're currently in the cruise layout. We can uh, go into the sport layout. That puts your, your speed and tachometer in the center. And this is our tour layout. This puts everything over to the left and your navigation, the full center of the screen. So everything's at your fingertips to, uh, to move around on the screen. Another real cool, cool feature that's changed on these is putting the motorcycle in transport mode. Uh, transport mode is for when you are traveling with the bike in the back of your truck. Um, or if you're moving around in your garage and you want to uh, make it easier on the battery. When you turn the motorcycle off, we'll switch it off. We're going to hold down the left turn signal and your trigger switch. And then we see the transport truck in there. So when you are pushing your motorcycle around or if it's in the back of your pickup truck going out of Florida in the wintertime, your lights, your security system's not going off and it saves your battery. So. All right, so how we'll, what we'll do next is we'll show the navigation on here. You have your ride modes. There's a rain my ride mode. There's a sport mode. Uh, there's a custom mode. And what the differences between the modes are, the rain mode offers you less engine braking. The rain mode also softens the crispness of your throttle response. It just softens it so you're not too aggressive in the wet. The sport mode really crisps up your throttle response. It also adds more engine braking. And the road mode is kind of in between that. Now you can also put your own custom mode in there. So if you do want the crispness of the throttle when you're accelerating, but you'd like the softness of the engine braking in rain mode, you can make your own custom mode. So that's really another cool feature. So that's how the nav screen looks in the touring mode. And if we go back and we change the screen. And uh, go in your sport mode. 
That'll put your navigation over to your right or your left. And if you're on cruise mode, that'll put your navigation in the center. You also have traction control on the, on the new motorcycles. Uh, the traction control will turn on automatically when you do start the bike. Um, there's additional traction control. And if you want, you can turn it off. So on the street glide, it's actually noticeably lighter, just getting it off the side stand. Um, seat's a little firmer, but when you do have your feet up on boards, it's, it's really hugging your butt. It's a uh, very comfortable riding position. Getting it off the side stand simpler. You know, one tip I always like to do is turn the handlebars to the full left before I rock it off the side stand. Uh, it really helps. Something that we've done on the, uh, the new Road Glide is previously the handlebars were pinned. New for 2024, there's a lot more throw to set up the handlebars into the position that you like to ride at. So if you want them further forward, you can do that. If you want them pulled back closer to you, uh, you can move the handlebars back and relax your arms and take the weight of your arms off your uh, shoulders and put it back on your hands. So um, it's great that we've been able to uh, move these handlebars around. People are really digging the shape of the new bikes. Uh, they've got more of a harder edge on here. They're not quite as rounded as the previous bikes, so they've got the harder edge on the fuel tank, on the fairing, now down on the side covers, and really it blends in with the tops of the saddlebag lids and the, uh, the bags themselves. I like, the fact, I like the fact that the bags hold more. They're easy to operate and they've got a curved shape to them instead of being so flat. So a lot of the flat surfaces have been removed and got the more curves to it, really cleaned up the lines. So previously on the 2023 and earlier road glides and street glides, they had an oil cooler. New for 2024 as we've gone to liquid cooling. So Harley Davidson has got a radiator just behind the wheel here. There are two fans behind it. We've got our coolant uh, overflow bottle here on this side, and we have it stay the same on the street glide. So Harley Davidson has a keyless feature. You still have your key for the motorcycle. You can lock your ignition, but uh, the key fob, when you're within four feet of the motorcycle, it disarms the security system. Now, if you ever drop that key fob in a puddle or the battery um, goes on it, you're still not dead in the water. You can get the motorcycle running and uh, what we do is we enter in a PIN number. And something that's changed on 2024s is you can enter it on the screen or we can still use our turn signal. So when we put the motorcycle into the run position, uh, the screen will come on and I don't have the, fo the fob with me. So entering your PIN by touching the screen, I put a one in, a two, three, four, and a five, and you can override the security system that way. On the Road Glide, it's a small little feature, but uh, it's great for in the summertime for when you do want to direct uh, air at you, or in the wintertime when you want to keep your kneecaps uh, a little warmer. Now we've also done this on the Street Glide, which is new for 2024, and we've got our wind deflectors on the lower legs here which just uh, rotate around as well. So that's another cool feature I just found out on these bikes. Something that we've kept on the 2024 Rogue Glide models is a small storage compartments for stashing away small items. And uh, they're still with this bike and I'm glad they carried that over on this bike. And on the street glide, we've got that tray that comes out. So small storage as well. So hook up a USB for any music that you've got, or you can charge your phone this way. So our charging ports right here. These, uh, these new wheels, they've gone to a five-spoke wheel, which is really cool. The rotors are floating, and uh, it's a change that uh, we really like to see. It's got the, the highlight, uh, the polished contrast. Outer edge of the wheel is machined, and the black center, and it looks really sharp. So on the Canadian models, we no longer have the center tail light. We've got the two strips on the back. It really cleans up the back end of the motorcycle. 
And I'm really digging the look of that. So I'm Stuart with Trev Dealey Motorcycles and that's a quick overview of the Harley Davidson 2024 Street Glide and Road Glide models. Super excited to sell these motorcycles. Best thing to do is come in now and pick one up for yourself. Come springtime, there might be fewer to choose from.